Hello everyone, this is Wandering Tappy. This time I'll share with you the wonderful celebration of Vajas, one of the most important festivities here in the Valencian community and something I believe would be great for everyone to experience at least once. The celebration of Vajas is an annual festivity that takes place in Valencia in honor of San Jose. During the festivities, big sculptures made of wood, paper mache and other flammable materials, which are called Vajas, are built. Vajas are comprised of several ninots or dolls and are usually humorous and or political. The creations are typically constructed over several months by teams of artisans and are displayed throughout the city for several days leading up to the festival's climax on the night of March 19th, which is St. Joseph's Day. That night, the fajas will be burned in a ceremony known as la Nit de la Crema. The topic that came to mind while making this video is how everything in life is ephemeral. When you see the beautiful Ninots, I'm sure that, much like me, you will have a sense of sadness at the fact that they will be burned in the end. And that got me thinking that perhaps we shouldn't. As most things in life, art is just borrowed in time. We get to experience it for a fleeting moment and then, by one reason or another, it will be gone. But what's most important is that we got to experience it. It's the same with all objects, moments and even people we treasure. They may all be gone one day, but aren't we so lucky that even for a moment they were right there in our presence? Isn't life much more beautiful because they existed? It's kind of like that quote, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. The origin of fascias comes from the old carpenter's tradition who, when celebrating the arrival of spring, used to burn pieces of wood that were used to prop up their lights during the winter. To this bonfire, they gradually started to add old belongings and rugs, which gave the wooden structure a human-looking aspect, until they became the ninots we know today finally evolving into temporary works of art which in some cases cost hundreds of thousands of euros. Fajas were catalogued as a festivity of international touristic interest by UNESCO and they are within the list of representatives of immaterial cultural patrimony of humankind. During the most part of March, the festivities can be felt in every corner, from lights in the streets, traditional attires displayed at shopping malls, Valencian flags in every other street, souvenirs, and later on, the fascias displayed all around the city. Oh, and I even came across at the fascias party. And the celebrations surely attract a lot of people. And I mean, a lot, a lot of people. Like, seriously, a lot. A lot. A lot, a lot. Well, you get the point, right? It feels as if all of Valencia takes part in the festivity, plus an incredible amount of tourists, both from other Spanish cities and all around the world. As fascias go for a long time and are comprised of different events, I will divide the video in sections, according to those. And before we proceed, I feel like I should make a warning, as something that characterizes this festivity are LOUD NOISES! I will show you some parts with the ambient noise, but the volume is reduced from what it was in reality, as I wouldn't want to damage your eardrums. First we have the Crida. In order to start things off, we have the Crida, which gets together the Fasheras Major and Fasheras Major Infantil, the commissions, citizens and visitors at the gates of the wonderful Towers of Serranos. If you would like to know more about the towers, I will leave you a link from a previous video of mine. There, at the towers, the mayor of Valencia gives the keys to the city to the Fasheras Major and with a display of music, a spectacle of lights projected on the towers, and plenty of fireworks, the celebrations are officially started. It usually takes place during the last Sunday of February. This year it was celebrated on February 26th, starting at around 7pm. 
and the Falleras Mayor and Infantil from this year, Laura Mengo and Paula Nieto, respectively, proclaimed the beginning of Fallas. Next, I will tell you about Mascleta. This act is a pyrotechnic display whose purpose is to produce as much noise as possible in a rhythmic manner. When the Fallera Major declares, Señor Pyrotechnic, pot comenzar la Mascleta. To witness this spectacle of sound, you should head to Plaza del Ayuntamiento at 2 p.m. any day from the 1st to the 19th of March. Warning, there is some really, and I mean really, loud noises. It reaches up to 120 decibels. My personal tip, these are your best friends during fashas. Seriously, bring some earplugs if you would like to experience the celebrations and not partially lose your hearing. And by the way, during the celebrations, it is hard to go out at any time of the day and not be surprised by some terribly loud firecrackers that people, yes kids, but also grown-ups, will throw right next to you. So, if you suffer with loud noises, as do I, I would recommend you go out with earplugs or noise cancelling in headphones every time you have to get out. Then we have La Cabalgata del Ninot. During March 4th, there's a parade and at the end we can see a Ninot that forms part of the municipal fascia that will be displayed at Plaza del Ayuntamiento. Exposición del Ninot. In case you'd like to have a more detailed look at the competing Ninots and even take part in the celebrations by voting for your favorites in the infantil and general category so that they will be pardoned from the flames, then you should pay a visit to Exposición del Ninot. Located for a few years now in the Museum of Sciences at the City of Arts and Sciences. Tickets are 3 euros per person. There's a wide variety of Ninots to look at. Some are cute. Some are funny. Some are political. <laughs> and some, well, are in a category of their own. But they are all impressive works of art. At the back, you will find the smaller sculptures, the Ninots Infantiles. If you like, 
you can pause the video and let me know if any of the Ninots caught your eye. As of this moment, I don't know which ones are chosen to survive the fire, but I will of course reveal it later on in the video. On a similar note, we have Museo Fajero. If you would also like to check out the Ninot Sindultat from 1930 up to the previous year, you can visit the Museo Fajero for only 2 euros. This is actually an activity you can do even if you come to Valencia outside of the Fajas period. And something I highly recommend as a must-see from the city. The sculptures are amazing and you can get a sense of an important part of Valencia's history there. There is a variety of topics from the pardoned Ninots across time. Some are more classical and representative of the city, and others are based on pop culture. For instance, Indiana Jones, The Lion King, or Star Wars. Then we have L'Alba de les Fages. On the night of March 15th, L'Alba de les Fages is celebrated at midnight in Plaza del Ayuntamiento. With the night of the planta, we welcome the most important days of the celebration. Of course, this is accompanied by an impressive fireworks spectacle, as it could not be otherwise here in Valencia. There's Nid del Foc. Keep in mind that I arrived about two and a half hours before the event and this is the amount of people that was already there. So you need to arrive early. You need to arrive early to everything really. The night skies are filled with light and color during fascias, thanks to the impressive firework displays which are set off after midnight in the vicinity of the Museum of Sciences. This goes from the night of the 16th reaching the 17th up to the night of the 18th reaching the 19th, an act which brings together a multitude of people and reaches its peak with the Nid del Foc, a unique firework display celebrated in the early hours of the 19th. La Planta. During the nights of the 14th and 15th of March, the Fascia's commissions work in shifts because all the monuments that are set up in Valencia must be fully finished by the morning of the 16th. The Fascia's infantiles will be placed on the streets during the night of the 14th and the bigger ones will be placed during the night of the 15th. During the afternoon of those days, the best ones are awarded and the Ninot Infantil Indultat and Ninot Indultat, the only two figures that will receive a pardon from the burning, are announced. On March 17th, the Falleras Mayores and their commissions take part in a procession towards Plaza del Ayuntamiento during the morning in order to pick up their prizes. The close to 800 monuments that are set up in Valencia are divided into categories with the special section being the most impressive of all. 
The Fascia Chromatica from Exposición Miser Masco and by artist David Sánchez is the winner of Sección Especial in the 2023 Fallas. The Fascia Named Tree from Fascia Convento Jerusalem Matemático Marsal and by artist José Gallego won the first prize of the Sección Especial Infantil. As I promised, here I present to you the Ninot Indultat Infantil and Ninot Indultat of this year 2023. From Fascia Almirante Cadarso, the Ninot Infantil, Merienda Pascuera en la Albufera, by artist Enric Ginestar, and from Fascia Antiga de Campanar, the Ninot La Pirotecnia, by artist Carlos Carsi, respectively. Did you spot those two at the Exposición del Ninot? In my opinion, the best part of Fajas is walking around lovely Valencia from the 16th to the 19th in order to visit as many Fajas as possible. Ofrenda de Flores During the 17th and 18th of March, all the Fallas Commissions of Valencia parade through the city from their neighborhood to the Plaza de la Virgen to give a flower offering to the Virgen de los Desamparados, the patron saint of Valencia. The act takes place from 4 p.m. until the night and collects the offerings of a great amount of flowers that will become part of the impressive 15-meter high structure representing the Virgin's Cape. The design of the cape changes each year and remains a secret until it's finished. And last but not least, we have la crema. All the fascias, small and large, must be burnt on the night of the 19th. As I briefly discussed, this is a bit sad, but we all know that fascias are made to be burned. And besides, the fire could be taken as a part of the art itself. Specific information was not so easy to find. You will have to check it up until the last minute in order to know exactly when the fascia you would like to see burn will be in fact burned. There is going to be a more precise schedule that I could only really find until the night of the crema itself that will tell you the exact time for each fascia in each location. As a comment for you to be prepared, the burning might be a bit delayed on some cases as they will have to wait for the firefighters to arrive in order to proceed. Which I think is very much needed, so no complaints from me. <laughs> oh 
Also, apologies to my American viewers for the imagery. You can't experience this from the video, but the heat you feel during the burning reaches some pretty high levels, especially with the big fascias. Although, for instance, in the small fascia I attended, the firecrackers placed inside the fascia spread off in all directions, getting to our feet and making people scared. So they kind of hit a window from a store a little bit, setting off the alarm. You might be able to hear it in the background. <laughs> All in all, this was definitely a unique and very different experience. I experienced a variety of feelings. It left me with some images such as this one, which will haunt my dreams forever. Oh, and most important of all, is that the poop survived till the end. This is the moment it falls and we all cheer. And just like that, those amazing works of art and the celebration of fascias are no more. But as I said before, wasn't it wonderful to experience? After all, the feeling will remain in my heart and the memories in my mind for the rest of my life. 
as are all the wonderful artworks, places, experiences and people I've come to love. Please let me know about you in the comments. Was there a moment, a work of art or perhaps the passing of a loved one that made you come to terms with the ephemerality of everything in life? refuse to accept it and are determined to have your consciousness uploaded into a computer someday so as to live forever? And on a lighter note, have you ever experienced this celebration yourself? Is there some sort of similar festivity where you live? So that's it for my video about fashions. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.